Hello. Hello. Who are you and where are you from? My name is Paris Waters. Um, I'm a current A&M student. I'm from Bowie, Texas. All oh, right. And uh, it's, um, what do you do? So I'm a marine biology, marine fisheries, um, double degree student, but right now I work at the Galveston Island Park Board for the Chamber of Commerce in the Visitor Center. I'm also an intern at the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network and at the Sea Life Facility there at a and Campus, and I do research in the Phytoplankton Dynamics Laboratory. Wow. <laughs> Busy plate. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and we are here, uh, where are we right, we're, so we're right now in Galveston. We and are in Galveston. It's a hot day in the 90s. It is, it's been the usual here recently. <laughs> we're under some sort of heat dome, it might even be, uh, the way it feels on the skin, maybe even over 100, but I don't mm -hmm. know that. Um, so, uh, has the climate changed much since you were a kid? Yes, absolutely. So we're noticing um, hotter summers and colder winters, especially here recently with the past Texas freeze. That was a really big deal for everyone who lives here. Um, and this summer is the hottest one in history here in Galveston. So, Wow. And uh, what about uh, on an everyday basis? Uh, let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most concerned about climate, uh, where would you put yourself? Definitely a 9 or a 10. Um, whenever I take my samples for the phytoplankton lab, we notice box jellies washing up all the time because they're um, heat stunned. So, yeah, it's definitely, we see the effects of it every what day. What is a box jelly? Uh, box jelly. Jelly, I yes. see. The jellyfish. I see. And they're heat stunned. And so you're very concerned. Um, what is being done around here uh, to, we all, um, uh, uh, may remember about the uh, 1900 uh, hurricane that killed six to 12,000 people mm -hmm. here on this island and it really marked it as the worst natural history disaster in the United States history. Absolutely. And, uh, but uh, what is being done now, the, afterwards there was a seawall built, uh, but what is being done now to mitigate uh, some of the uh, effects of climate? So within the next few years, there will be, um, they will be extending the seawall and building a big dike around Galveston and Bolivar Peninsula um, and Houston Harbor. So they're gonna raise the existing seawall four feet. It's been about, it's about 120 years old. Um, and then they'll be doing construction to build that new um, within the next two years or so. It's a $5.8 billion project. Uh, Ike Dike. Uh, then what about, um the future. Well, by, by the way, is that all that's happening or is there other things? Yeah, I haven't heard of anything else to try and combat raising sea levels. Um, you know, I mean, are they stopping uh, uh, development on the shorelines or are they raising housing or is, they, uh, is there any flood mitigation issues or? Yeah, so cooling? I have noticed um, they are raising a lot of houses here on the island, especially in the downtown area. Um, we do have often flooding, especially on Pelican Island. Every time there's a big storm, um, the big bridge that we have connecting the island to the main island, we have flooding and we can't get over the bridge. Um, even just here in the streets, like I said, especially in downtown and over by um, the main road Broadway here in downtown Galveston, there's always flooding. There's been a few sinkholes too recently. So, I mean, we can't really do anything about that, but they, sure. haven't, they haven't done road work, um, so. Among people that live here, I mean, is there a feeling of vulnerability to these hurricanes? Uh, they're supposed to be, there's an estimate that there may be as many as 25 this season. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So I think every time that a big storm comes in, all of us get worried, you know, we're not gonna be able to leave the house for a few days, um, you know. We, we try to get out and do our bench shopping before the big storm hits while, it, you know, while it's already raining, but... Um, very good. And then what about the future? Are you a climate optimist or a climate pessimist, and what can we do about it? So I'm a climate optimist. I really hope that we can uh, make some changes to our everyday lifestyle to try and, you know, mitigate the damages that we've already done um, to our climate, to our, our Earth and our ecosystem. So I'm hoping within the next 50 years, you know, within my lifetime, we can make some change happen. And how is that going to be done? Uh, is that technology, uh, awareness by people, uh, the new generation, uh, uh, political leadership, uh, big oil changes? Yeah, so I think all of the above. I think we can, every, every change that we can make that's, you know, within our limitations, um, I think we should go after, you know, eliminating plastic waste, uh, our carbon footprint, 
um, those those types of issues that we've we've been kind of neglecting for the past hundred years since the industrial revolution basically you know I'm hoping that we can really make those small tweaks every day um, to try and and like I said mitigate the damages that we've caused so there's no reversing the damage so far but we can take every step possible to try and you know maintain that well, on the 13th of July here in Galveston, Texas. Thank you very much.